There's 3D printing, electronics, lasers, picture corner, and other stuff too. All right, welcome back to Greg's Maker Corner. Today I'm going to be working on the x-axis. I've got the y-axis in the frame already, and basically next I just need to do the, the x. I did find some videos and um, a couple other documents that I thought might be helpful to share, so I will be putting those in the description. Uh, just check that out, and it'll make the build go a lot easier, I think. Okay, for this part of the build, you're going to need to have some 30... Um, millimeter M3 screws, which I've got one kind of hanging out in here. You're going to need your little black flags. Uh, you, you'll need all these parts you see printed, and you'll need the pulleys, ones with the teeth and ones without. One thing that I did notice with the updated documentation I found is you're going to need a knurled insert, insert, an M3 nut here, and one here. So I didn't have that in my original video when I was taking pictures. So make sure you add those in before you get started. All right, I've got these two pieces done. Those screws were a little challenging. One of the tips I would recommend is put it, getting a long screw, putting the washer uh, or the nut on the end, and then inserting the screw and then kind of pulling it. And then after that, it seats pretty well. I did end up stripping mine a little bit. Um, I'm not exactly sure how, but I put some E6000 glue on it, and I think that's going to hold it in just fine. So. If you happen to strip your nut a little bit, that might work. It wasn't bad, it's just wasn't was spinning a little bit in there. All right, next up, I'm just gonna be adding these four little posts to the back of this plate here. Should be hopefully easy. Everything in this build has been a little challenging, but that's as expected. All right, so I got three out of these four posts in. Um, I did end up losing one, but I found it, so. That probably cost me a good 10, 15 minutes of hunting for it. But the technique that I'm using is kind of opening up the edge a little, or the outside so it'll fit in and you can get it started. Just use like an X-Acto knife. And once you get it started, put the, uh, kind of put it in there, flip it over, try to keep it straight. And just flip it over and push it down and then it should go in so there we go okay i think those pieces are just about done probably want to make sure these are all mostly straight okay and the last part is just doing the top here um, it says to use m14 screws one of the videos i saw i'm actually using m16s they seem to fit just fine because i don't have uh, 14s Okay, so I went ahead and completed the y-axis and I got it put in the frame. This is what mine's looking like. Um, here's the side so you can see it. I've got, it says to center these in between, which I did on both sides and you want them both to be centered the same way. Um, when I slide it, it seems to slide pretty good. I did notice it's not completely square and it's easy to kind of mess around like that you can see one of the bearings popped up but that's ooh, that's probably because I don't have the covers on so I'm gonna do that next so I don't want to make it seem like this is all simple which um, by now you probably if you've been watching the series you probably realize it's not at all it's pretty complex but um, one thing that I ran into was my when I push my Y or my axis all the way up I've got a little bit of a gap there um, this side is flush against the motor, but this side is not. And what I found out was, now the, I can easily push it in and it's it's fine. But what I found out was after kind of asking around in the Facebook group, it sounds like, um, you know, at first I thought it might be my, my frame, but I, I went ahead and re-leveled everything, rechecked it, even took it out in the garage. I measured the corners, um, you know, this way, and I have the same exact distance. So it's definitely not the, the cube. The cube is fine. What it is, is these uh, plastic parts. So it sounds like it's a common thing that happens um, and that maybe my X, the, some of the parts are a little warped or off. So the good news is the belts, I should be able to get that um, out of there. And a lot of people on the Facebook chimed in and said, yeah, they had the same issue. So 
not worried about it. If you have that on your build, um, don't worry about it either. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is put the little idlers on the motors. So on the CAD diagram here in Fusion, you can see that this idler has the teeth on the top. If I spin it around, and I kind of look, it's hard to do while holding the phone, and I look over here, um, it's the opposite, so the, the teeth are on the bottom. And that makes sense because on the front right, this is on the bottom, and on the front left, this is on the top. As you can see right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those teeth on there, and then I'm gonna cut the belts. All right, I went ahead and put on those idlers. Um, I, I also kind of eyed it up to where the motor mount is, so it's roughly the same height. We're going to end up loosening that later based on the directions. The other thing I did was I turned the, the motor shaft so I could um, at least get one screw into the D shaft there, the, the flat side of the shaft. All right, I basically just ran the belts through. Um, I took, I started here. And I just took it with the teeth facing the back, which is what we're looking at right now. And then it routes through under here, all the way down to where the pulley is, back under, through here, to this corner, through this uh, pulley, and then back out again. So not too bad, pretty simple to set up. Okay, now I've got both belts in. And next I'm going to add the little um, tension nuts like I have right here. I'm going to do those on both of them and put the piece over it. So the, the second belt that I did, it basically just goes the same way as the first one, but it's on the top. And you've got a pulley, a pulley there as well. And then it just goes around all the way across. So that's how that works. Okay, I went ahead and put center screws in and I tightened it as much as I could, which is, it's actually fairly tight. Um, the, the next thing I'm going to do is loosen these set screws and then pull the chassis so that it self levels. And I, I watched that on one of the other videos. So I think that's good advice to get this thing nice and square. All right. I ended up tightening the belts and I tensioned the bottom screws about three turns. And once I did that, the motors now touch at the same time in the front. So I was able to get that adjusted just how I needed to. So I'm very happy with that. So everything's squared up and ready to go. So next up is going to be the Z-axis.